Okay, so today, listening to the radio, and there was a segment where they were discussing the rapper known as Slim Thug, and he was on CNN, and he was talking about all the things that he does that's positive, but people's impression of him is that because his name is Thug and how he dresses and whatnot that uh, and the way that he talks that he is going to rob them and it made me think about when people look at people and have stereotypes or um, opinions about people and take shortcuts to not really not really knowing the person and just assuming they're going to be a certain way just because they look a certain way or sound a certain way and you know that really is part of human human quote nature it's the culture it's how we are built so that we can protect ourselves so that in the event there is a serious situation we can quickly assess the situation and then make the the right decision so with that being said, if you don't want people to think about you in a certain way, then if you want to protect against the most people not seeing you a certain way, then you will dress in a way that is not going to give people that kind of signals. So I would suggest if Mr. Thug does not want people that are not in the hip hop community to see him in a certain way, then he not really worry about what they're what they're thinking of him. Because you're not gonna please everybody. You're not going to be able to reach every single person. And I know the politically correct thing to say would be, hey, everybody should love me for just who I am, the person that I am. Well, that's not the way that we're built as human beings. Uh, we're not built that way. So um, if you want to reach a larger audience and you want more people to think of you in a neutral way, then dress in a neutral way. If you want to communicate to people that are outside of the hip hop culture, then you talk to them in a language that they can understand. It's really that simple. I, I don't understand why it's not that simple. You have to be confident in who you are and you are your own brand. You are the CEO of your own company. You are that person. And so however you market yourself, that's who you're going to be, you know, and to those people that say, well, you know, if you're in hip hop, then that means that you can't really be involved in other things. And then you're kind of being a sellout and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't really worry about those those people. You can't be that short sighted. Each human being is an individual unique and unto themselves. And whatever they choose to do, they can do. I mean, we can all have likes. We have some similarities, but, you know, we are all a little bit different and it's OK. Just like um, uh, Little Wayne and he, you know, was very, very, very strong, very popular in the hip hop community. And all of a sudden he decided he wanted to skateboard. That's what he wanted to do, you know, and now he does stuff with um, skateboarding. You know, that's what he wanted to do. Is he a sellout? No, that's something that he was interested in, something that he decided to do. And so he did it. So he's being a, he's being the unique person and having confidence within himself that he wants to do what he wants to do. And everybody out there, you should do what it is that you want to do. If you like comic books and you're a grown man, you go and you like comic books and you let everybody know, hey, I like comic books. If you're a, a grown woman and you like to fix cars and fix trucks and you like to race and go fast, by all means, go fix trucks, go race and go fast. You know, you are your own person and you should have the ability to do what you want to do. So, Mr. Thug, if you are confident in yourself, be yourself. And all of that goes with it, you know, and all the consequences that go with it.